<laughs> hey, what's going on, bro? What's going on? Hey, what he tell you so far? Huh? You don't remember what he told you? No. Hey, he is a car. <laughs> hey, all right, hey, look, we gonna start. I know it's kind of nervous you stand up before a lot of people. Um, so, hey, bro, that's crazy. All right, so look, you believe in the Bible, right? Yeah. Wholeheartedly. Yeah. You're a Christian? Yeah. yeah? All right, so why, uh, look, look, it's a lot of questions I can ask you, right? So why do you believe that you're a Christian? Bro, I'm not. I'm not gonna hurt you. I promise. You believe in God? Hey, look, man, you ain't gotta be nervous. I'm not gonna do nothing to you. <laughs> yeah, I promise. I ain't gonna do nothing to you, unless you hit me. You know, you're not gonna hit me, right? I, I won't hit you. All right. So look, the Bible gives everyone a genealogy. You know what a genealogy is? It's like a bloodline. You know what that is, right? Like a family tree. You know, like your race. There you go. Right. The Bible identifies people by their bloodline that's what god did right you can read about it everywhere in the bible right so um who is your father is he a white man a black man is he hispanic because you look hispanic yeah, but he's white. he white you sure that's your dad yeah. i don't know <laughs> <It's shady. laughs> hey man well the judgment the judgment oh you can tell hey look but the judgment um on white people is not good according to the bible right we're gonna give you a history lesson how did white people get this land? They fought for it. They took it. Right? They did a lot of a lot of a lot of mean stuff. Right. Right, Robert, murder. Right. Right. Hey, look. Hey, yeah, they did make treaties. They made a lot of treaties and promises with the Native Americans and the indigenous people of this land, but they broke all of them covenants. And the Bible speaks about that. What is it like Psalms 50? Psalms 50 uh 50, 53. Right, I believe that's Psalms 53 or 58. Salakia, you should check that for me. Right, but that's how they got this land. You know, um, um, how did how how did the Mexicans become Sp Spaniards? How did they learn how to speak Spanish? Because they conquered them too. They killed them, raped, robbed, and murdered them. Right, you know, um, Spaniards and white people and conquistadors, they all go back to Romans. Right, do you know what the Romans did to our people? What about the Greeks? You gotta learn your history. What did the Greeks do to our people? The, but the crazy part is the Greeks, the Romans, how they came to America, all of that is in the Bible. The Bible isn't about Christianity. It's about the Israelites. It's about God's chosen people. And you're gonna find out that you're standing before God's chosen people, according to the Bible. And the things that your people did to our people, God didn't like that. So you guys have a judgment. You know what a judgment is, right? Like when you stand before the judge and he he sentence you, He'll sentence you to death, the electrocution chair. He'll sentence you to 40 years in prison. He can sentence you to house arrest. But the judgment that the Most High God gave for white people is, is bad. It's not good. Right? Let's get the classic in Revelation. Are right, you found that for me, though? Okay, come on. That's on 55? Okay. All right, well, you can get Revelation for me, and he can hold the songs. Right? I'm going to show you um 13. Right, I'm going to show you some of the judgments on your people, man. And um, you got to understand something. You're not, you're not both. Right? You can't have the best of both worlds. Maybe for a little while in America, but the Most High God tells you you are who your father is. Right? You come from his loins, from his nuts. You are who your father is, man. And that's a, a fundamental you got to understand when you're reading the Bible. Right? It always gives you a genealogy of who your father is. The son of, the son of him, the son of him, the son of him. Because that's who you are. Right, you were known. If your father was a wicked man, you're gonna be known as a, a son of a wicked man. Right? That's how it is in biblical times. Right, read that dog. It's the book of Revelations, chapter 13, and verse 9. Bring it out. If any man have an ear, let him hear. Hey, look, man, if you can hear this, receive it, man. Pay attention to this. Watch this. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. You know what captivity is, right? Slavery. You know what slavery is, right? It says, he that leads people into slavery, them people are going to go into slavery, right? When we got off cargo, cargo ships here to America, what did we do? We went into slavery under who? White people, right? So he that, um, read it from the top, Art. Verse 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. It's into slavery, come on. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. 
So it says, he that leads a nation of people into slavery or captivity, they're gonna go into slavery. They're gonna go into captivity. You know what people, you know what karma is, right? Yeah, that's basically what it is. It's basically karma. But it's not karma, it's from the most high God. It's judgment, it's justice, right? So if you kill somebody, eventually somebody gonna kill you, right? Give me the law, Exodus 21, 21 and 16. Right? It's a lot of judgments in the Bible that America, and you know what America does? It's, um, it's, it's like a, it's irony, right? When you go into, have you ever went to court? You have? They make you swear an oath and put your hand on what? On the Bible, right? You remember that? Have you ever seen that on movies? They make you, they make you swear on the Bible that you'll tell nothing but the truth. That's what they do. They make you swear on the Bible. But the crazy part is they don't swear, they don't believe in the Bible, right? You got a dollar? You got a dollar bill? You don't? On the back of a dollar bill, it says, in God we trust. But here in America, they don't really trust in God. If they did, they would judge people according to the Bible, right? And the judgment would be on their own heads. Watch this, bro. What's your name? Gabriel? Gabriel? That's spiritual right there. Bring that out. It's the book of Exodus chapter 21 and verse 16. And he that stealeth a man. It says, he that stealeth a man. You know what it says? If you steal a man, we were stolen, right? How did we get to America? We were stolen. We were taken. Watch what the Bible says. And sell him. What did we do once we got stolen? We were sold, right? We were sold to plantations. Right? Come on. Or if he be found in his hand. And we're still found in the hands of the people that stole us. We're still in America. We're still here. Watch this. Watch what the Bible says. He shall surely be put to death. He said he shall surely be put to death. So if you steal a man, you sell him, and you still have him in your hand, the Bible says the judgment for that is death, right? So you believe in the Bible still, right? After what I showed, do you still believe in it? You sure? So do you think it's right for your people to die? Yeah? Easy. That's a, hey, give this man a hand. That's the judgment in the Bible, bro. Hey, it might sound hard. It might sound, it might sound harsh, right? It might, hey, that, that sound mean, right? No, it sound fair. How much of that did, did you catch? Because I didn't see you walk up. I seen, I heard about the part, the part where you believe your people, Right, that's when you got it. So, hey, that's all you needed, though. Is that fair? For what they did to us, should they get in trouble for it? Or should it just kind of be wiped underneath the table? Like, hey, bro, come on. I be, hey, I, I believe in, my personal belief is just about you. So like karma? Something like that, karma, karma. I believe that, uh, like the shit that our ancestors like worked for, it, like they did, like they they did that shit for us. Us being like the future, so forgiving like like past, the past, the past, the present, the present, the present for us to shape our future. Okay. So, hey. I believe that. Yeah, it's not right, but it's 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 we all want it. So. You know, so you believe that everybody is one. In a sense, yeah. In a sense, like we all kind of equal. Not equal. Not equal, I mean, I so we're not the same. Okay, well, look, well, I, I'm not going to just, you know, get on your head too much. But some of the things you said, according to the Bible, do you believe in the Bible at all? Sometimes it depends, right? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm like that. I'm just, truth, and explain truth that. Found it, like, truth it's a little bit of truth everywhere. Okay, I get that. I get that. Now, now, according to the Bible, because I believe wholeheartedly on the Bible, the Bible says not to do that. Right? The Bible tells you that everyone is not equal, though. And we can agree on that. And the Bible believes in justice. The Bible talks about justice. Right? If you believe in just the karma, or not karma, but just the power of the universe, like what goes around comes around, the Bible kind of talks about karma, but it's not known as karma. It's, 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 it's known as justice from the Most High God. Right. So, do you believe in a, in a God, in a higher power? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so how do you serve that power? Yeah, how do you, how do you give praises to him? How do you make sure you're in good graces with that God or with that power? All right, so what power do you believe in? That's, that's it's a lot of questions, man. That, that, that's a lot. That's, it's deep. 
it's, it's, I ain't gonna say it's dangerous. I ain't gonna say it is either. It's I a, like, like, I actually like conversations like this. Yeah, we got, we gotta have these. Like, believe in your like <laughs> belief system, like, or like say, example, like some believe in conversations should be like, a "Hello, what's up? How you doing?" type shit. Some believe that the way about go open up conversations like, "Hey, bro, you look like woo woo woo," and like that, like some. So I might I might have missed it, right? I'm not sure where you was going with that. <laughs> I'm pretty much saying like we all have our own belief system. Like some people, we all like, have our own beliefs. Like and all be own beliefs. Like some might you know like say I like like some girls might say I like dudes with dreads. I, I like dudes with waves. I like right. Fat we dudes. all got our own beliefs. Now, how do we figure out whose belief is correct, or is everybody correct? Can everybody be right? Let's look at it in a logical sense. We have a test. Everybody the teacher gives us a test. Is it three right answers? Is it or there is it one right answer? It's always it's always going to be one right answer, right? And how do we figure out if you right? Look, you could believe that it's okay to kill people, and I could be like, bro, it's not okay to kill people. How do we figure out who's right? If we just go off what everybody believes, it's two sides. But who's right? Are they both right? Yeah. Hey, but our higher power, our higher, I, our higher power. That's where I was going. <laughs> our higher power left us instructions. He left us law, statutes, and commandments. He gave That's us right. something divine to make sure we know right from wrong. You got uh, kids? No. Look, when you have a kid, you're gonna let them know what this is right, this is wrong. How much more for our power? That makes sense, right? It's always a right and it's always a wrong. Hey, look, I like having these conversations too. Hey, look, bro, but look, the, to get back to the basics, man, we're not teaching Christianity, right? We're not teaching something that just make you feel good and you show up on Sundays. This is something 24 seven, every day, every week, every month, all year round. And you gotta understand who you are according to the Bible, right? Like, where do you come from? What's your nationality? What's your race? Where do you descend from? Who's your great grandfather? Or before that, how do we find that information? All them things have been taken from us and destroyed once we came to America, right? And slavery and captivity, those things were destroyed. We don't know who we are. They tell us we just black. Or they tell us what, we African-American. Who were we before we were with those terms? You gotta understand our oppressors gave us that identity. But how do we know that? We go to the we go to what's true because you could think that's true. I could think it's false. How do we figure out what's true? Is history true? It's a fact. You're like nigga, we definitely were slaves. That's history. That's a fact. The Bible got history. It got facts. And what separates the Bible from all other books? The Bible can tell the future. The Bible predicted that we would come to this land and be sold on cargo slave ships to our enemies. That's how it's worded. But he said that would happen to a specific group of people to the Israelites, his chosen people, his favorite people. That's how we know who we are according to the Bible. Because the things that history re happened, the things that happened, it happened, and the Bible said it would happen to us. That's how we know who we are. That's what the Bible is. Uh, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to think about the right word. Prophecy? It's pro yeah, prophecy. It's it tells you like, what's like going to happen. Ball, like, yeah, that's going into, uh, like, you know, um, what they call them, like fortune, you know, seers, fortune tellers. What's up? You wanna, you wanna spit? You, he can take over right now. <laughs> right. Hey, look. And with that, you know, I'm working on the brother. He. Hey, look, bro. So look, you gotta understand something. We Israelites. We're not a bunch of African Americans that was given to us in the 1980s. That's new. Our great grandma was what called African Americans. Right. So that's something um, I, I want you to know.